Hello everyone, and welcome to this month's adult take-home craft. Today, we're going to be doing geometric collage art. For your supplies, you'll need the following items. A handful of paper strips, a 5x7 canvas, scissors, pencil, and a glue stick. Now, for today's craft, I don't really have instructions. I have guidelines. To start off, draw out where you want the parts of the collage to go. I used a ruler, but you can also freehand it. The main goal is that this project is geometric. That means try and avoid any circles or ovals or any curved edges. Something to keep in mind while you draw your design is that the more separate areas you draw in, the more parts you will have to cut and glue. Smaller areas are harder to fill in with the paper when the time comes. Now the paper I provided is double-sided. Some have different patterns on either side, while others are so similar it's hard to tell them apart. Use whatever color or patterns you like best. Make sure to line up all the papers in one section so there's no obvious breaks in the edge. Once you've glued a section of paper strips down, flip the canvas over and use the canvas edge as a guide to trim off the paper. When gluing the strips of paper to the canvas, do your best to make sure there are no gaps between the pieces. Use the straight edges you drew and the strips edge to your advantage. If there are small areas with no paper, leave them until the very end. We'll fill them in with the scraps later. It's okay if you don't follow your original pattern exactly. It's meant to guide you, so if you decide to make a change as you go, or if the paper doesn't fit just right, don't worry too much about it. As for colors, try and include a fair amount of both dark and light colors. It gives the canvas a nice sense of variation. You can do solid blocks, like I did with the black paper, or do a pattern like I did with the gray and greens. Finally, you can also switch between different types of paper back and forth, like I do at the very end.
For the areas that weren't covered with whole pieces of paper, use the scraps that you trimmed off to fill them in and glue them on. Finally, flip the canvas over and trim the edges to give it a more finished look. Then you're done! Here are a few other samples that were made during the process of designing this craft, used with a variety of different colors. Do whatever you like best and just have fun. Thanks for watching. Pick up your kit today at the Westland Library Reference Desk. They're in limited supply and first come, first serve.